Woo! Russell Maniac, aka Blu-ray Maniac, aka Scary Movie Maniac, Columbity! What up, baby? It's your boy, Chad Arms, Russell Maniac 1130. I just introduced myself. Why am I saying it again? We got another Blu-ray update. You know, I don't ever have a rhyme or reason to these sons of bitches. I just post them when I feel like it, you know? Probably should have a better schedule. schedule. But I don't. So, you know, I love y'all. I want to say thanks to each and every one of you guys for the constant support. We're over 3,300 subscribers. Thank you again so much for all the support on all the videos and supporting my music and add me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. You know, y'all are my friends and I love you. We got 40-something pickups again today. Uh, it's just, it just going ham, you know? I mean... It's been about three weeks since the last one, I want to say. So we're going to get right into it. First and foremost, i got to do my horror movies first. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. i got 11 pickups in the horror genre today, uh, this time. Or well, actually horror sci-fi, I guess. Um, we're going to do those first because that's my favorite genre. Y'all know that. And we're going to get right into it with the three newer releases of the last couple of weeks. First and foremost is one from Vinegar Syndrome, and that is Madman. Uh, awesome addition to this, guys. This is this is from 1981. I'm fixing to be uploading a complete horror movie collection video here in the next week, I'm hoping. I've tried filming it like 11 times, and it always messes up. But I finally got it situated on how I'm going to do it. And there's so many great movies in 1981 of the horror genre. I may even do a certain video just for that. Um, and that's when this movie was was released. I haven't watched this movie in years. Now, I watched it with my buddy Brian years ago, and we just kind of thought it wasn't all that great. Then I saw it again on something. I don't know if it was Netflix or just on cable or something. I thought it was good years later, you know. Um, and Vinegar Syndrome did it up with this one because, I mean, you've got got the alternate artwork there if you wanted to do that I like the original one here that they've used but you've got video interviews with the actors and producers creators you've got 30 years of madman documentary it's a 90 minute documentary you've got a 35 uh, or you got a featurette you got commentary with the producer um, you got you know art galleries all that good stuff this is my first title from vinegar syndrome and I'm very excited about it and that is madman Y'all check it out. I haven't been able to check it out yet to give you an idea on the transfer and everything, but I know a lot of people are picking it up, and I had to. You know what I'm talking about? So that's Madman, baby. Not to be confused with I, Madman, that's coming out in Scrum, on Scream Factory here in the next couple of months. Haven't seen that one either, but anyways, these next two were Best Buy exclusive Blu-rays, you know, every week. We've got one that, some that happened. This was last week, I believe. I just finished watching it, and I thought it was awesome. And that is Let Us Pray. It's starring Liam Cunningham from Game of Thrones and uh, Pollyanna McIntosh. This is a, I believe it's a Scottish horror film? Scottish or? Yeah, Creative Scotland. Is the, uh, so it's a Scottish horror film. Awesome movie. Hard to explain, um, so I'm not really going to try to explain it. I just think you guys, it's a badass movie. It's a lot of gore, a lot of guts, uh, some creepy parts, action. You know, it's, it's just it's just a great film. I thought very creative. It's got a doesn't have a lot of features. It's got a ten minute making of documentary and a trailer. Um, it's a Dark Sky Films release. You know, I'm a sucker for Dark Sky Films, so had to add that to the collection. It's only nine bucks, and that's Let Us Pray. Next up, we've got one that just came out this Tuesday. It is a monster movie slash love story that is from Anchor Bay Films and uh, Draft, House Film, or Draft House Films and uh, Anchor Bay Entertainment and that is Spring I watched that this today thought it was a great movie as well now this is basically like a love story it's basically about a guy who loses his parents and um, just trying to you know get away and start over so he goes on a trip you know he's got some inheritance money so he goes on a trip to Italy just to kind of get away, and he meets this girl, um, who, you know, obviously there's something going on with her, you don't really know, 
Um, and, you know, he meets her. He gets him a job down there. He's like an olive farmer down there in Italy. And a guy, you know, and stays out there and meets this girl. And they start seeing each other and spending time together. And they, he starts falling for her. Doesn't know, obviously, that she's got a whole other situation going on. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. I thought it was really good. The, some of the transformation scenes are super creepy. But it, it, it did a good job of blending a love story with a monster movie. I thought it was really cool as an original film. Um, you got three hours of behind-the-scenes features, an audio commentary with the director, um, trailer. It also came with the HD uh, digital code as well. Only $9.99, another Best Buy exclusive Blu-ray, guys. Check this one out. It's spring. It's not just a flat-out horror movie. It's going to be a mixture of, of a love story and a horror movie. But I thought it was crazy how they blended that so well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That is spring on Blu-ray. And it's got that cool clear case, too. Continuing on, baby, from Blue Underground. Had to pick it up. That's Maniac. The original Maniac. I still need to get the remake with... Um, Frodo, but uh, yeah, haven't seen this one before. Um, this is a Blue Underground film, so of course, you know, this is from 1981. Is it really? No, 1980. I'm sorry. Close enough. Dead gummit, I love the early 80s. Um, this has got an audio commentary with the producer, uh, two different commentaries. You got um, featurettes, interviews, tons of special features here on this. Heard it looks really good on Blu ray as well. And you know, Blue Underground always does a good job. They're they're not they're in my top you know three or four as far as the horror companies. Scream Factory is number one, of course. But um, big fan of Blue Underground, so I had to pick that one up. I got it off eBay, brand new for like eleven dollars. So that's Maniac. Next up is another one from Scream Factory. This is by I believe it's my only Scream Factory this this haul, um, which I've got more that'll be coming up in the next you know next couple of weeks, but. It's without warning. Um, Blu-ray DVD combo de doo there for you. This is from 1980 as well. This is supposed to, I haven't got a chance to watch this one yet. It just came in the mail. I got it for like $13 brand new on eBay. Check eBay, guys. I'm telling you. I, a lot of people have been hitting me up lately wanting to know the best way to get their collection, you know, get a collection started. And I suggest pawn shops, used spots, and pawn shops, thrift shops, stuff like that. And eBay, I'm telling you, eBay's where it's at. Um, but I've heard good things and bad things about this. You see that good cheese there on the back. It's kind of like, kind of gives you a Scooby Doo type of look there on the front. But uh, I think this is more along the lines of a sci-fi horror. It's got David Caruso from CSI Miami and NYPD Blue. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to checking it out. Just trying to complete the Screen Factory line, and this is just one getting one closer to that. And that's without warning. Next up is some two pickups that I got from CD Warehouse, or three pickups I got from CD Warehouse. I've been raiding. They, they're, the CD Warehouse by my house has gotten a influx of Blu-rays, just tons of them now, which I love because I don't go to McKay's anymore really and buybacks closed down so CD Warehouse is really my only spot around here you know so pick this one up for four dollars that's the stepfather this is the remake I've never seen this one um, trying to see what year this is from uh, 2010 I believe and I've heard mixed things about it but it was four bucks you know and it's uh, starring Michael Harding who's from uh, Gossip Girl, which I never watched, but I heard, heard okay things about it, and it was four bucks, so I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. And then I got this two pack for five dollars. I've never seen it, but I've heard it's kind of it's actually pretty good cheese. And that is a two pack of Night Watch and Day Watch. Now I have seen this out places for like fifteen bucks on Amazon. It's been like fifteen twenty dollars, and I didn't ever want to spend that on it. They both were released in two thousand and six. It says here. Um, I don't really know a lot about them. I just saw the two pack for five dollars at CD Warehouse and just went ahead and jumped on it for two for five bucks for two of those. It's worth checking out. And I got this for five ninety nine. Um, I had this years ago and I ended up giving it to Jordan. Um, 
like maybe two years ago. And I just picked it back up. This is the signs, you know, M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan, however you say it. Really enjoyed this film. A lot of people didn't really care for it, but I, I thought it was great. Mel Gibson and um, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. I always draw a blank when I try to think of his name. But I really, I always really enjoy the signs. So, and this one was one I picked up at work at Best Buy. We've got that that four ninety nine section of Blu rays. I believe that's supposed to go till August the first. Um, when I checked the, the the details on the sale for it, usually it's up by the cl close by the registers. Most of the Best Buys have the display, and y'all probably got most of the movies. I know I've seen a lot of you guys picking up some of them in your recent updates. And this is one that I picked up. That's the day that the Earth stood still. With Keanu Reeves, this is a three-disc special edition. Now you've got the original, or you got the Keanu Reeves day of the uh, you know version. You got the 1951 version, and then you got the useless digital copy that's expired. But never seen it. I've seen parts of the one with Keanu Reeves, but I don't remember it. It was years ago when I saw it, um, from 2008. So I look forward to checking out both of these for 4.99, guys. You can't beat that. I'm really getting into sci-fi as well, so wanted to add that to the collection. And by far, the crown jewel of this haul, and it's not even a Blu-ray, it's the only DVD, and the only reason I bought it on DVD is because it's not out on Blu-ray yet, and that is Brain Scan, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, starring Edward Furlong, which you know from uh, American History X, and Frank Langella. Absolutely love this movie, guys. If you have not seen Brain Scan, this was like 14 bucks on eBay brand new, but I totally was cool with paying that because until Brain Scan comes out on Blu-ray, I have to own it. And when did this come out? I want to say this came out in the early 90s. 94. So this was the this was you know, it's been 21 years since this came out, but this movie is so good. It's basically about Edward Furlong's character purchasing an online interactive video game um, software that he uses, and it basically makes where you commit murder and things like that and it happens in real life you know what I'm saying he doesn't know that obviously until he starts playing but just such a creepy movie so I just love it guys if you haven't seen brain scan you've got to pick it up check it out and that is brain scan guys I know that there it's been out there before on like a little four pack and I almost picked it up that way but when I searched eBay and found it on one of my my sellers inventory I had to scoop it all right, so that was the scary movies. I just spit everywhere, sorry. Next up, we're going to go to the... I got five new releases for the night, for over the last couple of weeks. As you know, I'm trying to wait on the new releases for a couple of weeks because they always end up cheaper. Like, movies that came out this week, like, for example, seven, or, uh, Focus, $22.99. Uh, Jupiter, uh, the Jupiter... I can't remember the movie... The Jupiter movie, twenty four ninety nine. I'm like, I'm not paying that, guys. I'm not. In two weeks, it'll be fifteen dollars probably. Anyways, starting off, we've got Seventh Son, which came out a couple of weeks ago, starring Jeff Bridges and Julianne Moore. I'm really a sucker for these kind of movies now. I'm really starting to get into them. I've heard good and bad things about it, and I didn't buy this new. I was at CD Warehouse. It was twelve bucks. You see there, twelve ninety nine. They've obviously got somebody that comes in and sells. I mean, this movie was there the day after it was released last week and then today or yesterday I went in and Focus was there, Jupiter the Jupiter film was there they were like $16.99 so somebody's obviously stealing those movies and selling them but either way, I digress I got it for 12 bucks. didn't have the code but that's fine look forward to checking it out and it came with a slippy you know what I'm talking about alrighty Next up, we have a movie that I picked up as a freebie at work. And I was like, well, I'm not going to like this movie. It's got Tyler, Taylor Lautner in it from Twilight. I'm just not going to like it. And I enjoyed it. I really did. I thought that I wouldn't, and I totally did. And that's Tracers, starring Taylor Lautner. Um, what is the... It's about... I'm trying to think of the name of the, what, what it is that they do. parkour or whatever it's the people that like jump all over stuff that's hard to explain but basically he's in debt to, to a street gang um, and needs money 
and he runs into this girl that he thinks you know that he kind of is attracted to and she's a part of this group that does the parkour stuff where it's hard to explain they jump they do stunts and jump every over everything and all kinds of cool stuff stuff i would never be able to do in my life ever um and basically they do they do jobs to and they get paid well doing it so he kind of links in with them to try to make up some of his debt and um as cheesy as a, a corny as that sounds, it was actually pretty good. I mean, I enjoyed it. It was a freebie, like I said, it worked, and it was action. It had a good act, good action in it. Um, he did a good job in it. You know, I'm not hating on on him, and it wasn't bad at all. You know, it wasn't a great film. Um, and since I pulled the trigger on it because it was a freebie, so it's Tracers, and it came with a slipcover. So check it out, guys. Maybe rent it first, see if you liked it. But I enjoyed it. It's kind of got that cheesy action feel, kind of like a. Like a Fast and Furious or something like that. It's kind of got that little feel to it. Next up is one that everybody has gotten. And I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the still book from Target, and that is American Sniper, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, you know, it's a controversial movie about Chris Kyle and, and everything. And um, I'll agree with Movie Mike to an extent. Um, it's kind of the way they portrayed the, the people you know, in the other countries as monsters, kind of. that I, I don't know how much truth there is to that. You know, and I've heard stories about this isn't the accurate depiction of, of Chris Kyle. I'm not going by any of that. I'm just going by the film that I saw, and I thought it was great, you know. Um, Clint Eastwood directed it. Outstanding director, as you know. Bradley Cooper did an outstanding job as Chris Kyle. Like, he did such a great job, you really forgot he was Bradley Cooper, you know. Could, you know, great movie. Um, it's not been on sale. It's twenty four ninety nine everywhere. So, I mean, but it was worth pulling the trigger on that for the steel book. So, check that out. I got this at CD Warehouse when I got Seventh Sign, and that's Hot Tub Time Machine Two. It was only a ten ninety nine, and it came with the code. And I thought this movie was going to be terrible, and I loved the first one. And, and I thought this one was funny as hell. I mean. You know, you don't have Cusack in it until the very end. You've got um, Adam Scott, who is the you know the brother and stepbrothers, who I think's funny. He's not really funny in this one. He's kind of like a just a really dorky kind of guy. But your boy Rob Coldry is just it, Cordry is just hilarious. I enjoyed this. I'm glad that I was able to find it for ten bucks because I wasn't gonna. You know, it's like twenty two ninety nine, but. I thought it was good, guys. I mean, it wasn't better than the first one, obviously, but it was much better than I thought it would be. And that's Hot Top Time Machine 2. And last but not least, on the new releases over the last couple of weeks, I picked up my only wrestling pickup. That's the Jerry Lawler story, the Good to Be King documentary. Still need to get the Daniel Bryan one. I'm going to be trying to get it next week. Um, and I enjoyed the documentary. It's an hour and 22 minutes. Um, but... Honestly, I thought it was really it was done really well. You know, talk, talking about Jerry Lawler in his early days um, in Memphis, talking about how he's so big into the art and drawing and things. Talked about him coming to WWE. Talked about his heart attack. You know, him bouncing back from that. I really enjoyed it, guys. You know, Jerry Lawler's a legend. Um, it's got tons of special features. Um, all basically all of his big matches or anything that he was involved with that was a big deal. You know, got a lot of big uh, Blu-ray exclusives, which is why I always get the Blu-rays of these. And that's uh, Good to Be King, the Jerry Lawler story. Definitely recommend that one. I need to kind of push through this. I've been talking a lot. Uh, next up, we're going to go to <laughs> four pickups from my homie, one of the Cheese Kings, and that's Nicolas Cage. i got four movies with him in it to add to his collection. And we've got Trespass. Got it for like $3 brand new on eBay. Uh, Nicolas Cage and Nicole Kidman. Looks like good cheese. And then I picked up another one for $4. Um, was stolen with the slip cover. It's not in the greatest shape, but just looks like another great cheese fest with Nicolas Cage. Look at that cover there. And I picked up this is CD Warehouse for $5.99. That's gone in 60 seconds. You know, classic uh, Nicolas Cage cheese. Jerry Bruckheimer uh, production there. You got Angelina Jolie, Giovanni Ribisi, Robert Duvall. It's a great movie. And last but not least, I got this out of the $7.99 bin. But with my discount, it was only 4 bucks because Image Entertainment, we get a good discount on those particular titles. That's Adaptation, 
um, which is a Spike Jones film. You know, same guy that directed um, her and uh, Nicholas Cage, Meryl Streep, and Chris Cooper. Haven't got a chance to watch it yet, but I've heard great things about it. And it was only four bucks. It was a no-brainer. So it's adaptation. And just gonna get into some of the a lot of these um, just randoms, random titles here. This was seven ninety nine. The three pack was seven ninety nine. I had all three of these films, but um, I just sold them and got like I think four bucks a piece for them. And I just got just trying to save space again. And that's the three pack. You got a uh, internship, the watch, and dodgeball. Again, I had all three of these separately, but I just went ahead and sold them and ended up coming out five dollars to the good there, plus saving some space. Um, I watched dodgeball for the first time in probably six seven years, and it's still just as funny as it was. Um, another one that I picked up, I had the first one, but um, I got this for four dollars on eBay. And uh, again, I'm just I wanted to check out two, even though I'm, I'm sure it's terrible. That's Butterfly Effect one and two, um, which I guess technically could be in my sci-fi section. I guess I don't know, but uh, the first one's one of my is my favorite uh, uh, Ashton Kutcher film, by the way. Second one I've heard was probably terrible, but you know it is what it is. That's Butterfly Butterfly Effect One and Two, and this one I picked up at CD Warehouse for five ninety nine, and that is Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I know it's in the seven eighty eight bin at Walmart, but I just luckily 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 scored it in the CD Warehouse, you know, for five bucks. And just a classic film, Sean Penn, Jennifer Jason Lee. Next up is one that I'm so glad I picked up. My buddy Brian told me about it, said it was hilarious, he was right, and that is Election with Matthew Broderick, Reese Witherspoon. It's in the 788 bin, guys. Check it out. Also comes with the voodoo copy uh, code. Um, you got a direct, directed by Alexander Payne, who also has a commentary on here. You know, it's Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. She's basically running for, I think, student council president, and he's just a teacher, and it's just kind of about their separate lives and everything. I thought it was funny, guys. I thought it was a funny film from 1999, an MTV film. Next up is just one I got at five, uh, four, like 475 at Target. A classic Ryan Reynolds comedy. It's National Lampoon's Van Wilder. Always love this movie. Um, Ryan Reynolds and Tara Reid, it's the unrated version. Saw it for 475 at Target. Had to pick that one up. And next up, we're going to get into these deals that I got at at work at Best Buy. You know, we had the buy one, get one free on the Sony Save Station. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up. I picked up a couple of these I showed in my Out and About. That was about last night. You know, Kevin Hart and um, Michael Ely, Regina Hall. Enjoy that film as well. And you got the Total Recall remake with Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Biel. This is the three-disc edition. Those are buy one, get one free. So basically all these were five bucks a piece. You got Zero Dark Thirty, which I've never seen, but I've heard it was just I heard it was a great film. And uh, you know, for buy one get one, I had to pick that up. Then I got Hook, uh, rest in peace, Robin Williams. You got also Dustin Hoffman, Julia Roberts, Bob Hoskins. Y'all know this is a classic Spielberg film. And then we picked up Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which I have never seen, guys. So I had to pick that one up. Been wanting to see it for years. Um, so yeah, it's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And then, last but not least, on the Sony Save Station titles, I got Stalingrad, which is uh, I heard is a great, great movie. Um, it's also got the 3D version too, which is really cool. Um, look forward to checking this out. I think this is a German film, a Russian film, but uh, look forward to checking it out, guys. All righty. And rounding out, I got four more titles. Uh, we've got Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I got this in the 788 bin at Walmart. Uh, we were we had it for 5.99, but we were sold out. Um, so I just picked it up for seven dollars at Walmart. Haven't even seen any of these. I've seen. I finally watched the first Mad Max, the Scream Factory edition, and it was awesome. And I heard Road Warrior is better. So I now have the trilogy. Can't wait to see the the Tom Hardy version as well. Next up, I picked this up at CD Warehouse for $4.99. It's just, again, adding to the action cheese fest. We've got Cyborg with John claude Van Damme. Just look at that cover. That's all I'm going to say about that one. 
And of course, I showed this in the um, Outski and Aboutski as well. Picked up Deer Hunter with Robert De Niro and Christopher Walken. Also picked that up at CD Warehouse. I think it was seven dollars. And rounding it out, we've got another one that was on the $4.99 um, in the $4.99 Blu-ray section at work. We've got Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. This is starring Russell Crowe. Also came with the digital HD code. Saw this a, years ago, man. I think this came out, I want to say 2003. I saw this probably around 2005, 2006, and I liked it. And um, that was back when I really didn't even like these kind of movies. Um, so I'm, I'm sure I'll like it even more now, but for $4.99, it's definitely worth it. There's also some other titles I'm looking to pick up as well from there. I think there's Entrapment is $4.99. Um, the Good, the Bad, the Ugly is $4.99. So a couple of other ones that I may end up picking up in the next couple of weeks, but it's Master and Commander starring Russell Crowe. And is that it? Oh, no, I got four more. Shoot. thought I was done. Robin Hood, Men in Tights. That was another 4 dollars er Picked up Mel Brooks classic. And then we got Super Troopers. Another $4.99 classic movie from the from Broken Lizard. And uh, I heard they're making a sequel. I hope so. The, the scene with Farva trying to order the large soda is the best part of this movie. And then we've got another one that was part of that Sony save station. Sorry, I got messed up there. You got uh, White House Down starring Channing Tatum and John Jamie Foxx. Heard it was like the poor man's Olympus Has Fallen, which I also have. Um, but, you know, it was for five bucks, guys, it was worth it. It was worth trying out. Plus, yeah, I sold the code for like $3. So, And this is the last but not least for sure. Um, I had both of these movies separately, but again, trying to save space. I, I got this for $3, brand new off eBay. And I sold them for like four, three bucks a piece. So I ended up making a couple of dollars, and that's Hall Pass, the Enlarged Edition, and Wedding Crashers. Two-pack, it's still sealed, and I think it even has a code, uh, or just $4 voodoo credit, or I don't know what it is, but it's two really funny movies from back in the day, and, and um, you know, I just went ahead and picked those up. So, um, so yeah, guys, that is it, finally. I think that's it. I don't want to miss any more. No, I don't. I'm not going to miss any more. So... That was my Blu-ray collection update. It is June the 4th. So hopefully I may be able to get another update coming soon in the next couple of weeks. I also plan on giving you guys a complete horror movie collection. I've got, all, I've got it realigned to my shelf right here in front of me, so it'll be easier for me to go through them. And hopefully I can get that up to you guys soon. We're going to film episode 7 of the Chad Arm Show, hopefully this week or next week. Um, so just stay tuned for that and again thanks so much for your constant support if you get a chance I've got three of my singles available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Spotify all that good stuff all you gotta do is go to any of those sites and search Chad Arms C-H-A-D-A-R-M-E-S and support me they're just 99 cents a piece guys hopefully y'all can enjoy them if not no big deal and that is it guys I may even do me a shout out mania episode because there's a lot of new blue tubers that I've came uh, that I've you know started watching and um, it's time it's time to do another one I do about one a year and it's you know hopefully we got a couple of, uh, of guys that, that are getting close to those plateaus of 500 subs a thousand subs and then we got some newcomers that are just getting started they got good channels as well so shout out to everybody I love each and every one of you love peace hair grease whamma dama ding dong woo